politics ruin, or rather control your whole life, man, you're gonna be a miserable person. Straight up. And unfortunately, that's where we're at. A lot of people are consumed by this. Alright, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Jerry's back at it with another episode of Real Talk. And today's topic, my favorite CNN news anchor, Don Lemon. You know, the the gay black man who talks about white people being racist all day but is somehow married to a white man. You know, that guy. What? I know, right? <laughs> totally not a hypocrite. But today's topic, um, from the Washington Examiner, Don Lemon says unvaccinated people should be shunned or left behind. And let me just say from the jump, I honestly do not know how the fuck CNN is still a thing, how Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo still have jobs, because both these guys are fucking idiots, but I guess there's enough uh, boomers slash uh, leftists to keep these uh, idiots afloat. But that's neither here nor there. So, article reads, CNN's Don Lemon is asking people to stop coddling the unvaccinated, calling them stupid for believing vaccine misinformation. Lemon said that those who refuse the vaccine should be shamed or left behind because they are delaying the progress of the United States as it attempts to defeat the pandemic. So, let, let me just go ahead and say, hey, you can try to shame me all you want. I'm not going to take the vaccine. I don't give a fuck how you feel. You can go fuck yourself, but to Don Lemon, that would probably be a turn on. So I probably wouldn't say that to him. Um, says the people who ate it and abated Trump are stupid because they believed his big lie. The people who are not getting vaccines, who are believing the lies on the Internet instead of science, it is time to start shaming them or leaving them behind because they are keeping the majority of Americans behind, Lemon said on CNN's Cuomo primetime Wednesday night. Oh, and let's talk about the science real quick because this is all coming down to science and not politics, right? So when the vaccines came out, they said, hey, you take the vaccine, you're protected against COVID. Fast forward. Now, what do they say? You take the vaccine, you won't be hospitalized because it reduces your symptoms, but you can still pass it around. And now what's happening? You have these uh, breakthrough cases of people who get the vaccine and still test positive and somehow end up getting hospitalized for COVID. So what the fuck is the point? Oh, and uh, let's not forget... Even if you've taken the vaccine, you still got to wear your mask and do all the bullshit that unvaccinated people got to do. So what the fuck is really the point? But that's neither here nor there. Let's take a look at Don Lemon's um, Wednesday night segment with him and uh, Chris Cuomo, the brother of Andrew Cuomo, who got uh, me too up in New York. Now, as you can see, I got all these wrinkles. Everybody asks me when I'm going to get you can eat it, Botox. But let's. Yeah, you probably got all those wrinkles because you're always frowning because you're a depressed sack of shit because you let politics fucking control your every fucking decision. Fucking loser. So nothing wrong with Botox. Clearly. But I'm saying, do people really know what's in stuff that they inject in their bodies all the time? And they're what like, they oh, eat? They what, they what they drink? eat, what they drink, all the... Uh, no. But the difference is they're not forced to take it, you f idiot. Stop it. Stop it with the ignorance. And we have to stop saying, oh, well, you know, you have to listen to people and uh, th no, you don't. These people are being harmful to the greater good. You don't have to listen to a minority of people who are being harmful to the greater good and who are not acting on logic, reason and science. I had the I had an issue. I told you, Chris, when my family was here and they were saying, well, I don't know. I just uh, I said, you know how you got here to visit me in New York? You took an airplane. What is that? Science. This, this guy is literally stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna equate an airplane to a vaccine that somebody has to inject into their body so let's go ahead and defeat this argument real quick i can voluntarily choose to assume the risk to get on a plane risk my life in case the plane falls out the sky crashes you know the whole night right 
In the same sense, I can choose to assume the risk of injecting an experimental vaccine. And yes, the vaccine is experimental because I don't know how many things um, <laughs> literally are discovered like, what, a year and some change prior. And then, boom, they magically got a vaccine. I, I don't know. I mean, somehow we've been fighting cancer for God knows how long, but we still don't have a cure for that. But, you know, this whole COVID-19 thing, boom, comes out what early 2020 late 2019 and now bam we magically have a vaccine for it come on dude right you know why people live to be older than 40 50 60 years old these days science medicine no one questions that you know why people it, you know what medicine that has been tested over years and you know it's been tested golly there have been trials and studies you know those those things that are kind of important to the scientific method uh, you know what is so contradictory about it when people get sick they go into the hospital and they say throw it all give it to me inject it put it in me and you're going to pay a whole lot of money and you're going to tax the medical system when you could have gotten it for free and you wouldn't be in that position in the first you're going place. to question the vaccine but you want to take a horse dewormer <laughs> oh and there they go with the joe rogan narrative the horse dewormer the ivermectin because <laughs> this is so stupid they ran with that story about people in oklahoma taking ivermectin and not being able to get into hospitals because Apparently, so many people OD'd on ivermectin, the horse dewormer, that Oklahoma hospitals weren't able to treat gunshot patients or gunshot victims. Oh, my God. And then they didn't even have the nerve to use a picture of people standing in a line in the summer. They had a picture of them in the winter slash fall time all bundled up and shit. Like, come on, bro. Come the fuck on, bro. Um, but look, here's the thing. I, I accept uh, everything you've just said. Most of all, the idea that the majority cannot be healed by the tyranny of a minority. Yeah. Uh, their stubbornness has to be their own consequence at some point, And the rest of us have to be able to live life. Yeah. Now. All right. So let, let's, let's recap here. So you got a large group of people that just say, hey, I don't want to take the vaccine. And then you have pieces of shit like this that say, uh, fuck that, you need to take the vaccine. But let me ask you this, let me ask you this, riddle me this, Batman. Batman. Would these same assholes have the same position if Trump was still in office? That is the one million dollar question. That is literally the one million dollar question continuing on the article it says lemon who confirmed whom cnn confirmed is fully vaccinated compared to the co or compared the covid 19 vaccine to other medical vaccines for polio measles saying the only reason people feel differently about the covid 19 vaccine is because of the current political climate but at the same time um a lot of people on your side of the issue also said that they would not take the vaccine because of the previous president. So that argument's kind of invalid. Just throwing that out there. And then when you're comparing it to polio and measles, those vaccines came out years ago. They've been tested to have what negligible side effects at this point if any to the point to where it's like hey uh your kid comes it's like it's it's just kind of a normal thing sorry that a good majority of people don't want to take a vaccine that was literally created what last year you know operation warp speed the same vaccine under the orange man but now because trump is out and biden is in now vaccine's okay because, you know, it's a, it's a different vaccine now that we have a different president. And uh, you got Fauci and all these other celebrities that you guys pay say we should take the vaccine. Yeah, no. 
says the people talking about I don't know what's in the shot you know what they get shots in nowadays in their rear ends why didn't they have the whole clip uh, to make it bigger they're getting shots in their face they don't know what's in Botox he continued later adding you don't have to listen to a minority of people who are being harmful to the greater good and who are not acting on logic reason and or science even though I would say that the people who are hesitant in getting this vaccine hmm, got to sneeze the people who are more hesitant and aren't taking the vaccine just because they like the new president or a CNN anchor tells them to or some celebrity tells them to I would say that they are acting even more rational and more according to reason and science than the people who go oh biden's in let me get the vaccine <sighs> como agreed with lemon saying the majority cannot be healed by the tyranny of the minority and that their stubbornness has to be their own consequences at some point CNN requires all employees to be vaccinated in order to return to the office, a policy that has been strictly re enforced, a representative for the outlet told the Washington Examiner. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Orange Man Bad Network enforces their employees to be vaccinated. Of course. It says, Hesit hesitancy to take the vaccine has been prevalent in recent months with rapper Nicki Minaj saying she would refuse inoculation until she had conducted her own research. Minaj claimed on Twitter that her cousin in Trinidad wouldn't take the vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent or impotent. A comment that was quickly rebuked by medical experts, including Dr. Anthony Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so they're upset that nikki doesn't want to take the fauci ouchie <laughs> or get the fauci ouchie uh, who said that there was no evidence that it happens the white house has since offered nikki minaj a phone call to answer whatever questions she might have about the vaccine as of last friday <laughs> the current seven day average for covid 19 cases in the u.s was 136,558 according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 63.4% of the U.S. population had received one dose of the vaccine with 54.1% fully vaccinated, the CDC added. Okay, so that's, that's the majority. So <laughs> according to your own logic, we should be good because over half the population is vaccinated. So y'all have nothing to worry about if a dumbass like me just goes out, catches COVID, and fucking dies. Uh, according to their logic. Because remember, the vaccine is, um, it, it, you take it and you're good, right? And uh, fast forward to now, they're, they're already talking about booster shots because guess what? The vaccine isn't what the fuck they thought it was. But... It just goes to show these people are full of fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. I I I I don't I don't know. I, I, I literally don't know. How do these people have jobs? How how are they allowed to exist? Well, actually no, that's an easy easy answer. Simple answer to that question because um conservatives and um people in the middle they won't call dumbasses like this out on their bullshit but golly hell you can have factual information presented but the leftists will somehow get people on the right and in the center canceled so it's kind of like the scale is tipped like this like lefts up here and then like everybody else is like down here in the terms of the power scaling but it's, it's, it's getting it's getting rough out here <laughs> But, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it's been your boy, Jarese, and I'm out.